All right, everyone, welcome back to PT Meal Podcast, your weekly serving of uh, inspiring insights and inspiration from the experiences and expertise of uh, physical therapists with a Filipino flavor. I am Johan de la Paz, your host, and welcome back to the show. So, in this episode of PT Meal Podcast, we are just going to review what happened last 2022 and uh before anything else happy new year everyone and uh yeah so this is gonna be a a short recap of the whole year it has been a fruitful year for um for the podcast with various guests and topics that we had and we also had some milestones and we all and i all and i owe everything you guys to our to the supporters and listeners and the viewers of the podcast so let's get right to it so 2022 um it saw uh new new experiences for me uh, as well as meeting um guests physical therapists who are in person in uh like in this photo in the apta combined sections meeting where it's the largest um congregation of physical therapists here in the US All right so so let's recap with the Spotify wrapped uh, in this year 2022 uh, we, we published 27 episodes uh, reached 33 countries increased 38 percent followers and produced 1.4 uh, thousand minutes of podcast okay oh okay there so we created uh, a thousand 1498 minutes of new content that's more than 96 percent of other creators in health and fitness category again we reach 30 33 countries first is the philippines next is the united states third is canada fourth australia and fifth saudi arabia these are the some uh, countries that we featured as well in uh physical therapists working in different countries right all right the next one is okay so these are the gains <laughs> uh 38 percent increase in followers 12 percent increase in the number of hours listened to four percent of listeners and three percent streams and again thank you thank you everyone who's listening following the podcast and continually sharing it to others if you find the podcast helpful for you kindly you know share it to others and then make them you know listen to it as well so that they can learn from it as you did and if you feel that there are topics that you wanted to hear about or hear more about uh don't hesitate to email me uh, at ptmilpodcast at gmail.com to suggest anyone that you want me to to invite in the show or topics that you want me to talk about or have someone talk about that all right so the podcast uh is in the top 10 of 1195 fans is it it's in the top five podcast of 1010 fans and it's the number one podcast for 493 fans so thank you very much to everyone who's listening in spotify i will podcast um you know google podcast wherever you're listening to or listening from so i really appreciate everyone who's really taking their time to listen to every episode all right so the listeners uh podcast personality is devotee uh my fans or the podcast's fans love the the podcast and they really love it thank you they're quick to support new releases and play their favorite episodes over and over again. Thank you, thank you very much for that. And hopefully, if 
you know once the the podcast grows and there's more people involved in this and not just me because uh as you know it's it's just me who's doing everything but hopefully my dream is that the podcast would grow and people would have would have you know full-time jobs in the podcast and we can really um expand on the content and not just the podcast but the channel the blog the website and everything so hopefully pray for me and, and continue to support the podcast and i'm very grateful to and appreciate what you're doing uh for for the podcast and for the the physical therapy profession all right so here are the guests on the regular conversations that we had in the the podcast we, we started with geriatric physical therapy with uh jenny yusuf followed by uh the topic of icu sedation and early mobility with uh cali dayton um the, my takeaway there was that i didn't know that there was a um, icu delirium and that it's really important for people in the icu to get moving as early as possible to combat those um side effects uh being in in in, in a setting in the icu next is uh the financial independence and retire early with camille alcariza and dal marcello they started their own podcast and uh in their own channel so their podcast is uh thera fire podcast you can check it out in um, spotify and in anchor as well um in other podcast apps and you can look at look them up in youtube as well um next is um how to be a physio in canada with reina nakahata uh i wanted to have uh someone he- uh, here in the podcast in canada because there was uh, a news back then wherein they 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 said that there's no clinical exam anymore in in canada but um that wasn't the thing he get so um reina clarified that for us next was reflection or musings about the apta convention with uh maria conci agila next is uh physical therapies physical therapist and patient collaboration with archel callejo chaseco and luis Floda. They emphasize how important it is to collaborate between patients and physical therapists in uh, the rehabilitation of patients with stroke. Then we had Jasmine Leanne Esquera, which talked about her topping the uh, Philippine Physical Therapy Licensure Exam. Next is Life of a Physiotherapist in UK with Mom Ivy Atienza. Next is Life as Physical Therapist Students with uh, Jan Micaela Ramos and Neil Zachary Alingalan. So they talked about their experiences as a physical therapist students, as physical therapy students um, in the time of pandemic and now trying to ease back in in a face-to-face internship. Next is um, Roxanne Fernandez who talked about life as a PhD student in um, in New Zealand. Next is being a physical therapist entrepreneur with Lady Servilis. Um, a regular, a second guest already, uh, Eliezer Tayag talked about hospice care and what the roles are of physical therapists in hospice and palliative care. Ne- the, ne- the last two two uh, guests are physical therapists who under who, who became patients themselves and, and shared their life stories for us and w- what impact their condition had in their lives. Eric Anthony Galvez had uh, or survived a, a brain tumor and now he's advocating for um, for the survivors of brain tumors who are young adults because that's 
um, I guess that's not not much talked about uh, as compared to pediatric cancer or ger- or, or cancer in, in the geriatric population. And lastly, in the regular episodes, is uh, Risa Carlton. She had a reversible type of dementia, and she um, shared with us uh, the lessons that she learned and the experience that she had going through that experience. Okay. So in this year also was the start of PT Mill Podcast Live Handan where it's more like a, a roundtable discussion. Um, first, we had the topic of taking the TDPT or the Transitional Doctor of Physical Therapy uh, while in the Philippines. Uh, so the first guests are Jay Enriquez, uh, Charmaine Geronimo, and Lizelle Soriano. Then we talked about LGBTQIA+ issues in physical therapy with Regina Araquel, Phil Domaligan, and Jules Racho. We also talked about um, issues when migrating in the to the US with Ben Aguila, Maria Conci Aguila, um, Mark David Basco, Manuel Malabanan, and Frechi Blair. So we also had live uh, uh, podcasts with the with attorney Flomi Javier Digza uh, where we talked about US visas and immigration to the US uh, we also had the uh, PPTA officers Philippine Physical Therapy Association um, led by Sir Mike Gabilo and talked about the updates in the physical therapy bill and issues about our practice which were some of the to- topics hot topics back then um, you know regarding ethical and uh, you know moral practices and uh, we also had um, Marvin Zotomayor in talking about motivating the unmotivated and demotivated students or clinicians uh, part also of the handaan was um, migration horror stories with again with Ben Aguila, Maria Conci, and Frenchy Blair. Okay, and 2022 was also when uh, the podcast, uh, Pitimio Podcast, collaborated with the Philippine Journal of Physical Therapy, where we started the segment behind the research when where we talked about uh, some published articles in the Philippine Journal of Physical Therapy uh, and invite uh, their authors and reactors to talk about their studies and also how it may impact the practice uh, or the profession. So first, we had the first episode was with... um, Archel Chaseco, Jane Archel Chaseco, Ella May Rueda, Kyla Marie Carbonell, and Dr. John Hubert Tuba as a reactor. And the study was Perception of Filipino Physicians on the Roles and Scope of Practice of Physical Therapists in the Philippines. And the second one was with uh, authors Francis Clarence Chua and uh, Cheryl Didi Obra with reactor Rian Rolaine Simon where we talked about the their study framework for the priority actions of Filipino physical therapists in disaster risk reduction and management so this would this segment would still continue uh, with me as the podcast editor of the Philippine Journal of Physical Therapy and uh, we'll still continue to invite authors of select um, published articles from PHAPT and uh, I'm excited I'm always excited to to talk to authors and, and go deeper on what their study was about and how it would uh, contribute to the body of knowledge and our practice all right so it also had 
I also started to do some solo po- uh, solo podcasts uh, this year where I also shared my reflections in the recent um, APTA convention uh, that happened in San Antonio, Texas. Also shared that what I noticed that um, recruitment in physical therapy in the Philippines was uh, gender bias. Usually, um, you know, uh, you would see female PT for hire or looking for male physical therapists. I mean, here in the U.S., that would not fly because uh, the roles and the description of a physical therapist is the same for each gender and to look for a certain gender um, is not um, is not allowed in the equal opportunity um, statements so I, I I'm just wondering why that is something that we are starting in the Philippines and uh, you know and not being called out or at least being noticed by more physical therapists okay uh, also shared some insights on strengthening mental health awareness I wanted to share um, a presentation from where I'm working and how to strengthen mental awareness uh, there so also we started or we did a, uh, an informal survey on the home care physical therapy rates in the Philippines, which I presented, and which I would also provide the information in my website once I arrange the presentation in a newsletter form. So watch out for that. I'm sorry, it's, it has been um, a while. I've been busy, and uh, yeah, I didn't have time to do that. And lastly, I attended a, a primary care physical therapy course and and shared some insights on that as well in one of the episodes all right so that was 2022 that was very an exciting that was an exciting year for the podcast the uh, live podcast um round table type not just interview types i you know we had solo pod- podcast um we had different topics on specialties on um going abroad from the philippines um you know being patients uh we have business we have life as a student phd student physical therapy student so many many more so i'm excited to what 2023 is um going to have for everyone uh i you know looking at all the topics and the guests that we have i'm still excited on what we can do with the podcast and hopefully with your help and support we can further you know enhance and improve what the podcast is and i always say that the podcast is not me but whoever is the guest whoever is the viewer or the listeners are so that is the podcast that is the heart of the podcast so with your help with your suggestions or recommendations your comments it will still thrive uh, to many many more years and the the podcast will be three years already this coming march so we'll be celebrating that hopefully we have something i can come up with something special uh, on that that third year so as always um if you find the podcast valuable, kindly share it to your friends, share it in your social media. Um, the podcast can be heard in Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, iHeartRadio, and many, many more. It's also in YouTube. Follow us in our social media, in Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. I keep saying us, but it's just me. I'm, I'm the host. I'm the researcher. I'm the creator. I'm the editor for this so if anyone wants to volunteer and help uh, i would gladly accept that um i i need people who can write uh blogs and articles for the podcast to you know repurpose the content from our past episodes if you want to help out whatever um role you can i gladly accept that maybe we can 
you know, move the podcast forward and I'll greatly appreciate whatever help you can offer and, you know, there. So yeah, happy 2023. Uh, Happy New Year to everyone and please continue to support the podcast. There's still a lot of ideas that I have and hopefully you like it. And again, I'm always open to suggestions and communications. Just let me know. Send me an email or private message and I'll surely read read that. Right? Until next time. Bye.